Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about a quick tip or trick uh, related to how you can format your axis. So whenever we have uh, let's say a line chart like this or a bar chart, we want to show the data labels on the line chart or a bar chart and that's not an issue. We can show the label, we can format it. So let's quickly do that. Go into the line chart properties within the expressions we can say value on data points and as i say we get the value on data points and then i go into the number i can change it to a, some sort of a format which is money here in this case and it's done but if you see you don't get the dollar values over here you don't get the formatted access over here the maximum that you can do is you can specify the symbol like this dollar so you get the dollar which gives an indication that it is a dollar and then for thousand symbol you can specify k for million symbol m and for billion symbol b since the values are here in millions uh, the values will be shrinked a little bit like this but down there it is in thousand so that's why it has picked up the thousand all right so that's that's basically what you can do but let's say this is not what you want to do maybe your requirement is that uh, you want to format this entire access so i just removed this entire piece and that's a bit tricky because i was experimenting this and i could not find any straight process or a straight option where i can do that and then after a few uh, you know experiments and hit and trial method what I really figured it out that uh, within the axis I was experimenting with this and uh, somehow I just changed the static step. So here if you see it is from 0 to 500,000 then 1 million then 1.5 million. So basically the interval is of 500,000. So if I specify 500,000 click apply which is actually a static step, you can see that your dollar value is now appearing over here. So that's a quick tip and trick uh, if your requirement is that you want to show dollar sign or, or a sign which is related to your number, then that's how you can really do it. So for that, go into the properties uh, within the axis, for within the static step, just specify the interval that you are using and you should get that formatting on your axis as well so i hope it is useful to you and uh, hope uh, you will be able to use it in your real-time dashboard